Twitch. I killed Jamie. I did it. I absorbed her into my flesh. She's dead. <laughs> no, I didn't. She's sicky. Jamie's sick. But hi, everybody. This is going to be a different kind of stream tonight. Yep. We can't play the game without Jamie, so... We can't do anything without play. Jamie. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're, we're useless without Jamie. We're lost without her. <laughs> yeah. I still remember her pink smile. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh... Let's get some milk. Fuck um, yeah. Yeah, I, it is freaking out on BLC. Oh... Why See? Are you doing I... this? Stop it. <laughs> uh... I think it's just gonna do that sometimes. That's okay. Unfortunately. It's just like a fun little quirky thing. Because it's just so fun and quirky. Okay. We're gonna play the first game first. <laughs> okay, fuck yeah. I'm loving the ambiance already. Oh. Um Bitchly. Okay. <laughs> it's pronounced. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bitchly, let's go. So nice on PS4 because it remembers that I like to call characters Bitly. Yeah. I'm on my way to the store rehearsing the speech. I haven't been out for so long that I've forgotten what words they say when they enter the store. You want to do the voice for the character? Instead of... <laughs> okay. I don't know. I'm on my way to the store. What should we ask them? I hate who are you talking to. I've heard that so much in my life just because I'm somebody who just kind of says stuff out loud. <laughs> uh... But I also don't want to be mean and say shut up and go, so I guess who are you talking to? I imagine being a game character. What if it helps to gather my thoughts? What game or what? don't respond? You know what game? Might as well. Well, you know. There are games in which you can see the character's thoughts. Right on the screen, you know? We are playing that game! So I thought, if someone reads my thoughts, then I would have to be really concentrated so as not to whip up the extra. <laughs> I'm deeply breathing in. Hello. Can I? Damn, I forgot. 19th attempt, and I'm failing again. Jesus H. I bite my lips with annoyance. So, once again. Hello, can I get a fucking, uh... Can I get a motherfucking, uh... <laughs> wow, a whole world <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> In my opinion, this time, the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think this is it? Who knows? Hello. 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 Can I? Uh, 
Uh, I'd better keep my lips sealed. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, kiddo. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on asphalt and your right foot on grass for a whole minute. What? <laughs> My right leg froze in the air. <laughs> How much? 50 steps on asphalt and 51 on grass. You will have to cancel the previous step. <laughs> How do you imagine it? This is not the first time. You were taught how to do it. I guess. <laughs> Walking. <laughs> I, I... I don't remember. Going to burst into tears. Fucking mood, bitch. <laughs> Ugh, from the beginning. So, step one. Take a step back to get your foot exactly into your own trail. Wait, wait. H how is it step one? What then? So, hey, it's already 50 seconds. But wait, if I'm going backwards, then 50. It still doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay, okay, step 50. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your trail. Could you paraphrase it at least a little? Just you can't. <laughs> you can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. And I'm Hopeless. people. <laughs> you make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, or so you will be very, very guilty if you do not buy milk. Damn. Really? So, are you ready? Yeah, yes, yes. You gently change the position of the leg, peering carefully into the thick grass. When I entered the store, I asked the very first person I met. Hello, can I? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? What? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. <laughs> the fuck is this game, Sierra? Why does it keep doing this? Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. <laughs> You better not to do it. He's clearly not going to change his lines. You run the risk of falling into an endless loop. We're already there. I feel like we're already there, yeah? Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? What? It's gonna keep doing it. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me. But how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? What's so terrible about it? I have a frightening image as soon as I imagine it. I can show. Explaining it won't be enough. Oh. I didn't do that. That's okay. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll just keep on ignoring his question. What? 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 <laughs> I gather all the will into a fist. Oh? Oh, you said oh and then... Oh? Okay. They just kind of... Hmm. 
interlocutor. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Shook and That's crawl. what I would have said. You just, just repeat it after him. Yeah. And it worked. Do it more often. <laughs> mirror people! Mirror them! Wait, I said that he crawled, but did he really crawl? Because I, I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Yeah, j just now. Personally, I did not hear. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. I'm standing by the shelves. On the shelves, there are bags of milk. The two of us are standing, and milk lies? Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you came? To buy milk. So buy. Right here? How, in, front of in your opinion, should I reply? Mm, I suppose something like, not here. <laughs> one is Sierra and one is me. <laughs> <laughs> Not here. Go? Take the bag. And go to the cash desk. I guessed the first sentence. And you like for spite. Like for spite didn't make a pause before the second one. Want to take away all my small victories? Sigh and pull my hand to take milk, or rather, a bag of milk inside. Rather, of milk, a bag of milk inside a bag, or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, oh god, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside. Reception, reception, 15 minutes before store closing. Hurry up. It's taken us so long to get here. <laughs> I remembered what these games are called. Visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full, in full, in letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But authors are not lazy there. And you don't be lazy too. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore. So watch your language. <laughs> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up or there'll be no good at home. Already running. <gasps> Fucking sprints. Hello. Can I get get uh, milk, please? You have it. <laughs> ah. Give. I put out a weighty bag of milk at the pay desk. Of course, not just a bag, but milk too. <laughs> oh my god. Hello! Can I get it back, please? No. Please? No. But please! Mum will throw me out the window if I get back without milk. <laughs> the window, huh? Mm-hmm. She's a real no. bitch. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? <laughs> For milk. <laughs> really? What would I do without you? Pull a crumpled cash out of my pocket and give it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. About two days have passed before he nodded satisfactorily and put a cash in the machine. Thank you, goodbye! Hope you grabbed the milk. <laughs> I'm walking down a familiar street, 
past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly pulls away my hand, reminding me of the times I took physical therapy. <laughs> By the way, they gave me a bag at the pay machine, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk inside another bag. Don't get me wrong, I just like the pyramidal st structure of verbal constr constructions. Con <laughs> Why is there an extra U in there? The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thanks for your interest. I feel like a mill, a mile of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I tell you. You're just a weirdo. Fuck it, you're just a weirdo. I share with you? And you? Feel movement under my feet. Asphalt grains, petrol stains. I'm trying to keep this my This is balance. so British. <laughs> and how do people move on something as uneven as the urban place? Neat, heel, sock. Count every meter of the way I've gone. I even close my eyes for more concentration. You're gonna hey, trip. watch out! <laughs> yeah. Huh? I unconsciously take a sharp step aside. At the same moment, a huge bear sweeps past me with a wild ripple. I'm walking here! I'm throwing a stumbling peek at the rapidly moving animal. Its red eyes in turn look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen! It was a truck. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their head? You might have died. Come on. Are you saying someone will seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? Not want to. If you wander into traffic, it might happen. The world is cruel and dangerous. I'm not in the world you're talking about. Clearly, kiddo. <laughs> My path continues. If you think about it, the way from the store has one interesting property. In the most bizarre ways, it adjusts to me. When I hurry, all the traffic lights are servicefully extinguished. When I want to cry, a cloud appears and pours rain flows that hide my tears. Right now, I feel how the cloud is slowly gathering over my top. I'm sad. Are you sure all this is really happening? And how else? Hmm. Um. Now there's a thought. <laughs> Let's say it. The instruction did not say that at all. Apparently these pills don't work on me either. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna say shit about that. <laughs> this? Yeah. You know what? What? Since I am a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading it right now. That's us! Sierra! Oh my god! As you say! I squeeze my head with the hands and set a thought block. Okay. With the edge of my eye, I notice a small bench, a great place for cliched visual novel monologues. I'm getting closer, putting a noticeably heavy bag of milk nearby and raising my head to the sky. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I understand I'm going crazy. Drugs are working less and less effectively, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. 
Do you understand what I'm talking about? Sure. Write Crazy. psychosis. <laughs> Write the word psychosis. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, and I expect the same from you, please. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you're psycho. <laughs> um, I guess yes. Though I don't know what she's talking about. Oh! Then no. No, I don't. She could sense. What? Bench. <laughs> Just write the word bench. I don't know what this bitch wants. You want a bench? Oh, yeah, put colon three. <laughs> I was gonna make a sad face, but that was. <laughs> I don't remember how long this goes on. Uh. Yeah, that's perfect. That's how I feel about this. <laughs> I don't remember if there's like an Put actual condition for getting out. Oh, I accidentally closed it. I don't know if there's a condition for getting out of this. Put I don't think there is. I think it just. Put uh. Like maybe, maybe uh. Uh, no. Uh. Whoops. Oh god, that scared me for a second. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, Sierra, put your social security number. Oh yeah, I'm sure that'll help. <laughs> Fuck. Hello, can I get milk, please? There we go. Okay. Please write with a capital letter. You ruined the narrative. Okay. Shit. 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 Oh, you gotta set no again, but with a capital letter. die. <laughs> no period, Sierra. No period. Just capital N and then an O. There we go. There we go. Wow. Two idiots fight their way out of a bag of milk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not very surprised. I must be quite unlike an exemplary protagonist, right? You're damn fucking right. To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it because now I need a lot of effort just to distinguish letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I wouldn't like to say my diagnoses. You don't oh, have sorry. to. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I opened with psychosis. <laughs> Let at least you be the one who sees me as I am. Even if I made you up, don't take it away from me, okay? Don't ask me about too much. Well, it's hard to ask you things if we only get ten characters. Where were you on the night of the 15th? <laughs> How stupid is all this? 
From the very beginning, you followed me, read my delusional thoughts, heard my stupid conversations. Maybe I seem crazy and weird to you. <laughs> what is it like to see the world with my eyes? Ever since <clears throat> something happened, I only see red everywhere. No, don't worry about me. I've been used to it for a long time. To be honest, I even forgot what other colors looked like. Oh, well, we're other colors. Just look over here. Go. <laughs> Those monsters from the store didn't scare me at all. Because I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think they're the ones who are scared. Can you imagine it? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Do you promise? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what happened? We get 25 characters this time. Yeah, ask what happened. Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, it gave me the question mark that I wanted. Although, I want it to, like, be able to parse what I wrote. Yeah, you gotta put a space in there. There we go. <laughs> of course, you couldn't not to ask. <laughs> In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would I would have raised this topic. So, you're really wondering what happened to me. Damn it, I thought that they were gonna let you answer again. And I was gonna say, no. <laughs> I won't take time. What do you see? What do you see, Sydney? Um, water. Okay. I see water. It looks like rain. We're doing a ink blot test. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? One way or another. This is my dad. <laughs> oh. Hi, Dad. Some of his parts, at least. We do have a very difficult family, but despite all the problems, I would never have thought that he was water. Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. In general, he threw himself out of the window and died. Ah! Oh. This is my last memory. Then, a long gap. Strange. Very strange. Today's the first time I've been able to buy something from a store without a serious incident. <laughs> a serious <laughs> incident? <laughs> of course, the medicine helped me. However, I think it's more of your merit. Aww. I was thinking all the time, do not screw up in front of the reader. Or, oh my god, what will he think? <laughs> hey, that's not my pronouns. <laughs> yeah. she, she can't tell. I know. She but, can't hear you us. Know. Well, actually, just say can. they. Oh, oops. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I called you crazy. Don't hit me with a knife. She can hear us through the text boxes that we enter. I'm... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <sighs> okay, okay. Good, 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 good. I don't you. know why I decided to become a character in a visual novel for the sake of going to the store today, but it has clearly borne fruit. Thank you. By the way, I think there are some frameworks in our communication. That's how I like it. <laughs> and yet, I'm so sad lately. I think more and more about what my life has become ever since Dad. Well, you understand. Day after day is the same. I've tried to so many pills that I can't feel difference between them anymore. Huh. As long as they keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> but you know what? Today's a special day because I have you. Yeah. I want to tell you so much. Something. <laughs> it's very rude. It's very of you. rude. Oh no. I will not press you. I just advise you go home. That's the pills in us. We're doing an Osmosis Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Well, dear reader, let's go. Hey, what happened to your dad? <laughs> <laughs> I 
and stomp on my floor and hang by the railing. Repeating this action every day like a ritual, I stopped being afraid of heights. A few minutes ago, the pills finally came to naught, so I'm just enjoy enjoying blissful silence. When I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant memories sound in my head. Mixing with the sounds of the world around me, they create a terrible dissonance in my head. Turn around and go to my apartment. Oh, it's nice in here. <laughs> hey! Hi. Hi! Yes, I brought milk. <laughs> Did you bring milk? Hi, Mom. <laughs> Your mom is lovely. <laughs> Did you bring milk? Yes, Mom. Yes, Mom. Go to bed. What a lovely interaction. Yes, Mom. Love you. <laughs> That was the best 36 minutes of my life. <laughs> it is a strange <laughs> one. You can get different things by taking different, making different choices and t or telling them different things. Ah. Well, we got the milk. Yeah, we did. We did get the milk. We were successful in getting the milk. Maybe we shouldn't have made them talk about their dad. <laughs> We could do another run through the first one, or we could just go to the second game. Um. Hmm. Let's do the second game, I guess. I'm pretty satisfied with it. I mean, there are things that I want to ask in the first one that are like, just to see if it's any different. But mm -hmm. <laughs> we can always go back after playing through the second one if we if we feel like it. Yeah. Loading bar. I missed you. Oh, thank Christ! Other colors. Oh, that's cute. Just uh, recapping the first game. Yeah. That is a box. When you realize you're in public. Me. <laughs>
Damn, what a boring hallway. No wonder she's fucked up and depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> wow, we have the same room. <laughs> That's what I see when I go to my room too. I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dance all over the walls, the ceiling. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control and track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to bed. I walk past the kitchen on the way to my room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing mockingly. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no cor corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure that... <laughs> I'm gonna run from Same. the kitchen anyway. I break into a run and dash toward the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Am they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hands around as I run, trying to chase away my annoying pursuers. But then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break the door now. Oh, fuck. If there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death, but wait. How can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? No, 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 I don't want that. What do I do? I didn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside, but there was a bag of milk I brought today, sitting right in the middle of the table watching me with its unblinking eyes. I stare back. Nothing happens. Okay. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf in a store or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world and into the scary unknown. So sorry, you poor thing. <laughs> this is a load of barnacle. <laughs> I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk toward my room through a narrow corridor. Oh no, there's mom. Hi mom! meet a familiar formless creature at the door. It locks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. Sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws bearing a single claw, thin and sharp, like a blade. Again. I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. You wanna be down? No. Move! <laughs> the creature squeezes my hands until my veins start bulging. I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I promise so many times. Stay put. The moment it says that, its claw pierces my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung sinews. Then, then the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. I 
white veil appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time. But why? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell while my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky foam. <laughs> the creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me. Kill me. Hysterical screams re resound through the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. Try to imprint where every drop fell in my memory so I can gather them all later. I need to remember. I need. A new wave of pain crashes over me. Everything turns pitch black in an instant. Hey. Say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Hi. Say it. Never drink milk ever again. Say it again. What we don't what we don't know about this character is that they're lactose intolerant. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never I'll... drink milk ever again. Good. No more poopies for you. Look, you fucking vomited the foam! Finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. Hmm. Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed preparations. <laughs> I've washed my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> That's you! That's me. And there was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of the day. I love anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world would clash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It would have been so cool, but the dreams always slowly but surely slipped away, as if somebody fished them out of my head one after another, one after another, until nothing was left. And now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. Yeah. For finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work separately since I always swap them as a bunch without thinking. <laughs> now I want to have a better look at it to twirl it between my fingers to chew on it. Ew. You're not- No. Some, some things you're not supposed to chew on. Yeah, those are capsules. Just swallow them. I'd do anything to stall for just a little bit more time. A smooth protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi-transparent film but I can still discern its contents. So what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides and to my surprise, it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid pours, pours out. Filthy, filthy. You just crushed a day quill. <laughs> right? <laughs> the pill flies straight to the waste bin and I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. You're not drinking it. You're swallowing it. Your tummy's drinking it. Next was a flat pill of the same blood red color. There are some letters printed out on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy. But it's not the kind of sleep I want. That's not, that's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. 
pill flies into the waste bin as well. You could just put it you, back in the container, but whatever. You gotta take your medicine, baby. Okay? You gotta do that. The next half an hour goes by in a similar oh, fashion. <laughs> half hour. I study every pill from all sides, and then I find a reason not to swallow it. I invent my own med medicine instead and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in their healing effects. I don't think that's how medicine works. <laughs> hey, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, Never my mind. Neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach. Hey, my eyes. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple. I need to brag about it to someone right away. Wow, me. <laughs> but, but not to my mom. She'll just scold me. Yeah, because you're not taking your medicine, baby. And she's sure I'm already sleeping anyway. I don't want to disturb her without reason. I'll think of something myself. Besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder, who's going to be my conversation partner? I'll do it. I love talking to crazy people. Oh, hey! Be, yeah, you want to be this voice? Hey. Long time no see. <laughs> it hasn't even been an hour, dummy. There you go, bullying me again. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit? I'm pretty exhausted after today. Well, I guess you are too. That's not true. You need to go to bed. No, you've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now. All right. I'll just stay silent until the medicine's effects wear off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, right. why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you. At all. Hmm. I'm so energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything. And you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. <laughs> I can imagine how angry you are right now. What made you so happy all of a sudden? And why would I be sad? Remember yourself a couple hours ago? I don't know what you mean. Stop lying. Uh-uh, I still don't understand. Whatever. Unlike you, I won't forget that pathetic snotty girl for a long time. She just whines and whines all the time. Don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while we're together, alright? So you're the one calling the shots now? Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see, yeah. I... Am I really that pathetic? Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin, and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. She didn't last very long at all. <laughs> that was fast, but not unexpected. At least I tried. Go wash your face, then we'll decide what to do with you. I didn't mean to be so mean, but, you know. I'm in front of a mirror again staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery looks the walls are giving me. Trying not to drown in their giggling. Ooh, a QR code! Oh. I see that. I didn't I yeah. don't think I saw that before. I wonder what it is. I don't know. It's probably something. It's probably nothing. They would never put an Easter egg in here. It says, thank you, but you will never find me. Oh. <laughs> cool. The 
then the mirror also shows me a creepy smile, bares her teeth at me. I shut my eyes, but that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. I start counting in my mind. Two squared, two by two squared, a square squared, a square pyramid squared, a pyramidal structure cubed, a pyramidal structure hypercubed. Oh god, I feel better. Nerd. <laughs> My head is splitting apart now. That's because you did that stupid cubing thing, stupid. <laughs> Sorry for being rude. It's not your fault. It's never your fault. Fine. You can keep on blaming yourself, but don't overdo it. I... I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, you ought to know how challenging it was. Is that why you threw away the medicine? A stupid decision, right? Whatever it was, it was your decision. Does it even matter? Yes. Somehow I find it hard to believe. Then why did you do that? I felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true the pain subsided for a bit at that time, but now I feel it triple in force. It hurts so bad. You know what to do. Dejected, I reach out for the shelf with my medicine swallow the pills one after another, chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lumps of coagulated blood and transparent coating travel down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. Your throat's dry as shit, dude. Drink some water. <laughs> yeah, stop dry heaving your fucking pills. Shit, Put it in a pill pocket. <laughs> I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone? This worries you much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it with my mouth. Jeez. Like a dog! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lie on the floor. I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. Excellent. Yeah. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. I like her shirt that says she hates O. <laughs> Yeah. Do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough of talking. She wanted to chat so bad before. <laughs> what do you want, then? I, I just want to lie down for a bit. Let's not say anything. She just wants to lie down for a bit. That's a high ceiling. Everything feels higher than when you're on the ground. <laughs> I carefully extract my thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly, orderly, lo orderly rows. Now it's my cork board hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off with my hand, annoyed, and start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. Ew, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? 
I don't mind either way. Here they go. I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts, they're fireflies now, start whirling <laughs> all over the ceiling of their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. You would not believe your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling make me start losing my patience. Enough! I hate you! Damn. Spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Your mom's gonna be mad at you. Yeah, don't scream. Good job. Now start over. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. Oh. So, that doesn't bother you? Should it? Yes. And what do you want me to do then? I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> Here at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. And I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. Forget about them and go to bed. No, you don't get it. If I'm thinking about something, I need to finish my thoughts or else... I glance around the room. There are too many places for a creature as small as a firefly to hide here. They can be anywhere. Suddenly, I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already. I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please tell me you'll help me. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking while you were lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. That's the thing. I have no idea. This is weird. Will you tell me? I... Oh boy. I roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They are so itchy. Why are you crying? My eyes are itchy. Did you drink milk? I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, will my eyes stop itching? You're allergic to milk, you idiot! <laughs> I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, all my eyelashes, etc, etc. What have you done?! I need to gather the glass and then... Then I need to have a bath and then... Here, drink some milk. No! <laughs> One girl's struggle against lactose intolerance. <laughs> She's so brave for that. <laughs> I stand in the middle of the room, my mouth agape, gasping for air. I think I just experienced death. I don't know any other way to explain what happened. Well, that was surely something. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Will you tell me or not? About what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. You're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And my thoughts are hiding from me. <laughs> be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. 
no, 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 and no. If I make even the smallest of messes here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should stay in their places, and that's it. Why? <laughs> you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't and I won't. <laughs> Alright then. We just need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk. Without moving anything, even an inch. Yeah. My oh my. I have an idea. Last time becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point and click point and click adventure game character. You know, those games have moments where you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. It sounds so fun. And what about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. And want to know what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. Oh yes. I start panic panicking as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. I'll just keep <laughs> changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. Do what you want. I go to the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wowee. Wowee. That's a mosquito. <laughs> ah, it's a firefly. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell from its long stem drinking your blood. <laughs> I carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my mm. shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was in order, the firefly slowly drifts up, circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. <laughs> Tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. Okay. Where should we look? Ooh, glitchy. Yeah, I... <laughs> I guess look in the drawers... It. All the compartments are locked. What if? I don't even want to think about what's inside. Who knows what I'll end up imagining. <laughs> imagining. Okay. I guess sleeping bag. <laughs> this is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the temptation to spend a minute or two inside. They'd want to dig deep into it with a couple of favorite items, close their eyes, and then... Hey, did you fall asleep? Huh? I gently slap my cheeks to return myself to my to senses. It's already way past midnight. Usually I'd be sleeping like a log at this time, but right now I can't. Even though you were, just were. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Let's continue searching. Hey. Maybe we'll find something inside? Nah, my thoughts don't have a feature of putting to sleep. Quite the contrary, they always cause insomnia. Just like tonight. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's check that bag. I look down. My school bag, worn down and silly, is almost screaming of its own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like a full belly. Its contents are also regurgitating, decomposing, and turning into a sticky, mushy substance. I think you Gross. need to clean your bag. 
Yeah. Did you leave your lunch in there? <laughs> what a cool image. I need to remember this. Totally not cool. Tell me what's inside your bag instead. Nothing special. Mostly just all sorts of books. I've taken oh, and my knife. <laughs> I've taken out all the pens and notebooks out of there. And I'm not interested in anything else. Mm. You used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Are you sure you understood my question? Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? Well, you're wrong. Alright, alright. What did you like the most there? Hmm. Well, the rooms were really bright. Not like at home. That's it? Don't rush me, let me remember. Well, the beds were also soft, and the food was nice. By the way, I attended all the classes, the others always skipped. I probably got told off so hard. Smiled gently, absorbed in warm memories. And the smugness of being better than everybody else. Yeah. Those little fuckers skipped class. But I didn't. You never graduated, though. Yeah. Do you remember your last day there? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I'm already too old for the school curricu curriculum. I also realized that some, some time ago, the tasks were way too easy. Then we got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there, we had dinner, and went to our rooms. And what happened then? I don't remember. And does it even matter? Tell me about it again. Is your memory that bad? Please. Oh, fine. That day, Dad picked me up from school earlier, explaining to me that I need to grow up. It's not like I could completely grasp what he meant. Either way, I didn't resist. We got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there, we had dinner together, and went to our separate rooms. Satisfied? Tell me about it again. Dad dragged me out of the school building while I was scratching and biting. The teachers didn't interfere. That scene was ordinary for them. Who knows what the little brat has done. Then he pushed me into the car and we gr drove home in complete silence. Mom greeted us there, we had dinner together, and we went to our separate rooms. Please, let's not discuss this further. No, you'll tell me again. Dad bought milk on our way home. Again. I hate milk so much. Mom was not home. Again. I hate mom so much. What happened next? Suddenly I feel someone's eyes on my back. Knowing that these moments should never ever be ignored, I turn around. But there's nothing there. What happened next? Everything that happened next happened after something that led to everything that happened after what had happened. I look at my bag again. Light pouring into the room through the window glints on the metal parts. There's also a shadow underneath it, which means it's real, sadly. Whatever, I don't care anyway. I almost end up kicking the bag in, a f bag in a fit of sudden anger, but I manage to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move it even an inch, the whole picture will collapse and I'll go blind. It's already happened. Countless times. Damn. <laughs> what do you mean, you'll go blind? I've spent months memorizing the location of every item in my room. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. You won't get it. Look at your feet. I look down and see that a small insect is crawling toward me from my bag. It's barely glowing and it can't even fly. I guess this firefly is really tired. I bend down to pick it up. The firefly starts glowing brightly as soon as I touch it and then flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies toward me with high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the firefly to enter my ear. It's exactly what happens. After it gets inside, it buzzes for a little while and then goes silent. This one's kind of sad. 
I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's no longer alone. Sure. Let's continue searching. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the shelf. I turn my eyes toward an inconspicuous shelf near the mirror. There's a glass with a toothbrush sitting on it with a small towel. And a small towel is hanging nearby. What a wonderful sight. My fireflies are smart and good. They would never get in there. They know about personal hygiene. <laughs> okay, let's look somewhere else. Look at the notes. Your usual notebook page is glued to the wall with duct tape. Numbers are drawn on them. It's the only kind of information I can take in without trouble. Those sitchin side effects? Yeah. I thought you knew them by heart. Yeah. This is not your handwriting, isn't it? It's not shaky, broken lines, ugly numbers. It's not writing, it's more like claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mom. I don't need your advice. My scream makes the pages rustle restlessly. After a moment, a firefly appears from underneath one of them. After looking around in a business-like manner, it takes off into a business-like flight and ends up entering my business-like ear. <laughs> okay. Hey. Let's continue searching. Uh... Yeah, I guess the... Ooh, the trash can! I get close to the waste bin and look inside it with curiosity. Pill packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage. Boring. There's nothing here. Indeed, no self-respecting firefly would hide in a heap of garbage. Can't disagree with you there. The vent! Sus! Sus, sus vent! Sus. Sus firefly! Imposter firefly! <laughs> it's not easy to get out of here. <clears throat> okay, I guess that was it. Damn, okay. Yeah, the plants. Right, insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. I don't think... Fireflies are pollinators. <laughs> I don't um, think so either. Yeah, I guess. I get close to the flower shelf. I sniff around. The leaves smell of dust and cardboard and death. You know those plants are long dead, right? I'm not sure a dead plant will be able to attract any insects. Mm, you'd be surprised. Well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know. Still, you're right. Let's continue searching. Why don't you just throw them out? Weren't you listening to me at all? Ooh, more pages. And what are those? Ah, those. Those are the photos of my best memories. But they're blank. I stared at them so intensely that I burned them with my eyes. <laughs> now they're just covering the cracks in the walls. Cracks? I get it. Are we continuing the search or what? Okay, we are. I want to look at the glitch packages. Yeah, we might have to try that later. Okay. I don't know if we can or not. I don't remember. Oh, the cupboard! I tilt my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging under the ceiling, at least 300 feet off the floor. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's huge. Are you joking? 
Even though it's my room, not everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. At all. Like, totally. And I'm definitely not worried. Not even the littlest bit. Not even a smidgen of the littlest bit. Not even for a thousandth of a percent. That's how much I don't care. Hey, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. <laughs> Me. <laughs> From this moment on, I'm ignoring you. Oh no, you don't. Then act normal. <laughs> okay. Should we? Yeah, I guess let's just like look around at the. Oh wait, fireflies might like. I'm turning that back. Fireflies on. might like uh light bulbs because they're lights. Are you serious? <laughs> hey! <laughs> What's wrong? Just think about it. Why would fireflies be attracted to light? <laughs> I think they're quite self-sufficient already in that regard. Oh, uh, they attract each other. <laughs> Yeah, that's what the light is for. That's the <laughs> hey, come fuck me light. <laughs> well, only if they purposely want to lower their self-esteem. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, that one. Air conditioner. Mm-hmm. I look up toward a very high place under my ceiling. And hear a countless number of small legs marching inside the AC unit. Whoops, I accidentally hit the, the screenshot button. No, that just means it's important. <laughs> oh well. What happened? Fireflies can't be friends with cockroaches. We better look somewhere else. Why would cockroaches be there? Have you forgotten? You were the one who told me to think of my thoughts as cockroaches. Yes, but... They became fireflies afterwards, but cockroaches don't disappear just like that. So they occupy this place. Do you understand now? I do. Yeah, the fan! <laughs> What's funny about that? I imagined myself being a firefly that's looking at straight at a giant fan. And? I'd be so jealous. The only thing preventing it from flying is a cage it's locked in. And the cable. It's like an inmate if you think about it. It's so sad. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Let's continue searching. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I feel weird because I do kind of understand. You know? <laughs> Yeah. But oh, which one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh. This is just sound. Okay. Let's look at that little magazine on the table. This is my sketchbook. Half of oh. its pages are blank, which means it'll still be good for a couple of years. Fuck. You draw Same. that rarely? Why? Isn't that obvious? If I run out of pages, I'll have to buy a new sketchbook. <laughs> I can't get to the stationery store on foot. I'll have to take the bus. Do you even realize what kind of nightmare that can turn into? Well, maybe you can ask your mom to buy you one? Buy what? Ask whom? Can you even form coherent sentences? Don't play dumb. Ask your mom to buy you a notebook instead. Instead, so you want me to perform a string of actions, but you're also telling me to do one instead of another? Then how would I decide which action to take? You're so dyslexic. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> she called you out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm dyslexic. You want to fight? <laughs> Man, you're a tough case. You lack empathy. Is that my fault? I get closer to the sketchbook, stepping over the wires, the sleeping bag, the cracks in the laminate, and the window's reflection. 
The sketchbook is lying on the stool. From my height, it seems like the stool is missing two legs. I squat and look again. All the legs are in place. Will I be able to think of an interesting allegory? Oh, let's not go there, okay? I stand up and study the sketchbook from inches away. Its pages are pure white. The last drawing is buried on the previous page. The way it should be. Too bad. I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. A sudden gust of chilly wind breaks into the room and makes the pages rustle. Oh no. I shut my eyes. The distinctive sound of pages turning echoes with a headache in my head. I know what's going to happen. The rustling has stopped, even though the wind is still howling from every direction. It can only mean one thing. The notebook is open on the first page. If I wait a little longer, the wind will close it. I won't have to look if I wait a little longer. If I wait... Open your eyes. No. It's okay. Just do it. No way. I know you're lying. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. <laughs> calm down! No! <laughs> Sierra, calm down! <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Fine. I open my eyes with utmost caution. The notebook is still open in the middle. No drawings, nothing. The pages are still pure white. Did I imagine it? I don't know. Did you? You're the smart one here, you tell me. Next time, don't close your eyes. What did you- I couldn't finish speaking because the pages started moving again. Don't close your eyes. Don't make me do it, I'm scared. Trust me. The rustling grows louder, the pages lift up. I can almost see the outlines of drawings on previous pages. No way, everything that is in the past should stay in the past. You couldn't convince me, that's it, I'm closing my eyes. Look, look there. Barely visible light seeps through the pages. With every new gust, it becomes brighter and brighter. A firefly! The wind immediately stops. For a moment, the world sinks into perfect silence, but only for a moment. The buzz Dogs that is are always... barking. I wish that was my life. Perfect silence. <laughs> the buzz that has always been haunting me fills the surroundings. But it doesn't matter now. Goodness gracious, little boy, you made me so scared. Firefly blinks, flies up in, and enters my ear, buzzing loudly all the way. You heard it here, folks. Fireflies have eyelids. <laughs> it might have been the light blinking. <laughs> Hmm. It spent no. some time looking for the perfect spot in my head, but then its buzzing dies down. Phew. Are you okay? We're running short on time, so let's continue searching. Umbrella time! Oh. We've, we've found all the fireflies. Okay, cool. Unless you want to see some of the other stuff, but... Oh. Because she might say some stuff. Yeah, let's look I at the umbrella. Know. The umbrella emanates a faint sense of coolness. No wonder, it's the only thing that defends me against the thunderclouds that gather under my ceiling. It's such a blessing that it can do it without my help. Still, a firefly won't hide in a place like that. It'll catch a cold and be un unable to fly. You don't want to check it? Why? I'm sure we won't find anything there. Let's look at the glitchy boxes! Look at the glitchy boxes! It won't let me. Damn it. We might have to look at everything first. I don't remember yeah. if we actually can. Let's look at that alarm clock and that one computer screen and the other radio. I look at the alarm clock. Time continues its unstoppable flow. It's so late. Are you tired? You bet I am. I let out a theatric yawn and hold out my arms to the sides. One, two. Then I raise them above my head. 
three, four. Maybe a little workout will help me freshen up. Good idea. Do you remember the exercises you've been taught? I think so. Take a hesitant stance. What was it? Heels together, toes apart? Whatever, I'll go with that. Count down five minutes. Fine. You have a clock right in front of you, though. I can't look at its hands for too long. At first I feel like they start moving in the wrong direction and then they disappear altogether. And then things always get messy. It's a clock! What's... Last time I saw a pair of eyes on the clock face. And also, I used to hear voices back in the day. Well, that's they, just Cogsworth. They pleaded for help, I think. <laughs> yeah, Cogsworth's dead now, so... <laughs> Please, fuck the beast, so I can be a man again. Please, help. <laughs> what a mess. Truly a mess. It was a mess, right? A mess. Well, are you counting down? My god, finally. What do you mean? I was trying to get through to you for half an hour. Huh? Forget it. Do you see the firefly? No. Let's continue searching, then. Compuber screen. I look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years, so it's covered with a layer of dust as thick as my finger. That's a lot of dust, dude. Yo, bitch, you live like this? <laughs> a bizarre item. I fear it. <laughs> yeah, that's where the <laughs> internet is. I looked at one comic once and got a Trojan horse. I'm never touching it again. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's a long and boring story. Is it really boring if you're scared of it? Wonderful. Tell me about it. Mm. I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. <laughs> <laughs> One of my parents probably brought it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. I think they gave it to you. Yeah. Sure, I've spent my whole days in front of the screen. Games, drawing, engineering calculator, 3D modeling. So much fun stuff to do. You had some amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did. For entering the web. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh no. You found 4chan. Oh my god. That's why you're psychotic. This, this is what happened to Serial Experiments Lane. <laughs> same color. Same color hair. Yeah? Hmm? Imagine this. You're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living. Could you imagine? As always, your analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagined. Right, so you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living, okay? Okay. Wonderful, and here's the situation. You're a hamster that lives... Okay, I got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Yeah. Fine. Suddenly a firefly slowly crawls out of the laptop to vent and grow. I reach for it. It gets on top of my palm, blinking all the while. I think it's trying to say something. I can see that myself. Only I knew what. Looks like a cipher. Don't you want to crack it? Change my mind. I have absolutely no desire to find out what it wants to say. <laughs> yeah, I hate ciphers too. Firefly stopped glowing for a moment after that. Aww. Little guy. It starts glowing again as if coming back to its senses. For some time it thinks about the further course of actions, then flies up and dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. I guess we only had like... There was a minimum number of fireflies we had to find. Ah. Uh. I forgot. Oh, what's that little tiny thing on the ground? Uh, near the radio. Oh. See? My water bottle is sitting in front of it. Mm. What's this? Hmm. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, I don't know what that was. I guess try the pillboxes. I look at the mound of pills and it makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. What's wrong? I almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless. I could have died. Hey, calm down. We've already fixed that. Yes, because you ordered me to. Things could have been much worse. Yeah. I heave a deep sigh. I come closer and extend my hand. Wow, it's warm. The moment those words leave my lips, one of the bottles overturns. Pills rain down from it along with them. A firefly! Hooray! Yay! Close your pill bottles. Nah. Now they're just on the floor. <laughs> After circling above my head a couple times, it finally lands in my palm. Hello! Uh, hello, Twisted um, Barg. I have uh, we, played this we before. We did. Well, well, yeah. Oh, oh so, yeah, the first, the first game. Yeah, we finished. Yeah. We finished the first little, like, short one, and now we're doing the second one right now. And it's weird. It's a weird, weird time. Yeah. We've only done, like, one pass of each of them. Or we're... I think that's about all we're gonna do tonight, just because time constraints. But, you know. Yeah. The firefly rushes up my arm, and upon reaching my shoulder, crawls straight into my ear. My mind becomes a bit clearer. I guess I don't get to... That's annoying. Yeah. I guess we're done. I get to know. <laughs> yeah. Finish searching. We found all the fireflies. Amazing! Woohoo! I guess. <laughs> Damn. I've managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's just going back to the starting point. No changes at all. Zero sum. Happiness is always about being positive, right? You shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. <laughs> I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? mean well go to the balcony breathe in some air somehow those words triggered a panic attack in me i subconsciously step away from the balcony i don't think it's a good idea why this may sound silly but i feel like someone is watching me All right, let's stay here. Yeah. What are you going to do? What's with this silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. Hoping that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. Imagining myself to be outside of my mortal shell, but at the same time still being me. Ridiculous, like milk outside a bag of milk. And yet... What is with this bitch and milk? <laughs> and yet? You don't have to talk out loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill. Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. And the day after tomorrow. And never ever. That's a goodbye then. No, I have one more small favor to ask. A really, really small one. Bitch. <laughs> what is it? I blurted out way too much today. A lot of stuff I want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. No, I wouldn't be able to sleep like this. Fine. What's the favor? I, um... 
I nervously scratch my wrists and bite on my lower lip. Hey, wait a minute. You're afraid to tell me? Yes. I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop, I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Fully. No, you. Crawl into my sleeping bag. The lower part of the room is very cold. I hurry to wrap myself in blankets even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dreams just won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Of course I'll believe you. I know, it was a joke. Well, anyway, I washed my face, brushed my teeth, lied down, and started imagining that I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course, and always looked sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Yeah, that's... Yeah, the brain does that. Yeah, if you, you need <laughs> don't to sleep. <laughs> Letters floating in the air, strange silhouettes that appeared in the most unexpected of places. Bulging eyes with trembling pale pupils. It was scary, you know? And one day I almost died. I just collapsed in the middle of the room and couldn't move for a while. And then silhouettes, letters, and eyes were hanging over me and hissing. It was horrible. And well-deserved, I guess? It felt like I was caught on the biggest lie. I was caught on the biggest lie in the world. Yes, it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. But the silhouettes, letters, and eyes stayed here. I guess they liked this place. I'm always following my wake, peeping at me. And I'm kind of scared of them and can't even argue with them. But today... Today... Well? I... Still too scared to tell me? Of course, they're still listening, you know? Use your hands. All right. I start chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm, forming complex shapes. You want me to tell you a bedtime story? Shh. I was trying so hard here. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax. Nobody can hear you. So, what do you say? I'd be happy to. But I have no idea how to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly. But it's not. And meaningless. I don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus, Let's focus on- Oh, yes, you have. <laughs> yeah. distracted. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. A packet of milk in Russian, eh? Hmm. Russian's weird. It's the only way the wordplay can work. Yeah, hmm. I understand. They in the in the beginning sequence for this game, like the second part, um. It did show the carton of milk. Yeah, we we're like, that's a box of milk, you idiot! You dummy dumb! <laughs> Turns out we were the dumb ones. <laughs> oh my god. We're so culturally insensitive. We just don't know Russian. <laughs> Sorry, Russia. <laughs> Fine. Close your eyes. Wake up on a wooden bench. In front of me lies a narrow, dimly lit alley. An awfully familiar road. Where could I have seen it? Finally. I hear a voice coming from the side. I turn around and see a boy with a weird expression on his face. Oh my god, can I be the boy? Go for it. You're late. <laughs> um... Who are you? The boy blinks in bewilderment. We're not going anywhere like this. 
Try again. And he takes a very deep <laughs> breath. You are light. I stare at him confused. He stares back, also confused. Sorry? The boy nods, satisfied. I'm satisfied. See? Much better. <laughs> Do you have a name? My name's Tresca. I give the brat an evaluating look. Hey. He's so young, yet already coming at me with questions like that. None of your business. And besides, will anyone tell me what I'm doing here? Hey, that's rude. It's not like there's somebody else here besides me. Haven't they told you anything? I know all there is to know, for one. Wow. About what? You're obligated to escort me to the store. Preska says that and strikes a victory pose. No way I'm doing that. You do understand that refusal is futile. Well, aren't you full of yourself? I'm serious. I'm not the one who decided that. Do you think I'm delighted with your company? You smell weird. Constantly shifting between happiness, sadness, loudness, silence. He's a wacko, and his name is stupid. <laughs> and he <laughs> smells like milk. And also, I don't like him, and he eats boogers. <laughs> Are we going or what? You can go, and I need to think. I'd be happy to, but I don't know the way. Fresca puts on a cunning smile. I bite my lower lip in frustration. I'll be honest with that. you, I don't like you. He simply bursts out laughing in reply. <laughs> I do like you, though. Then he grabs my hand without hesitation. I don't even have time to retort. Lead the way! Oh, Tresca. You little minx. <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> oh, look at him go! You go, Tresca. Our trip to the store went fine, if not for the fact that Tresca was walking way faster than me. Gays and, always walk fast. <laughs> and on the other hand, at times he stopped abruptly and went backwards, studying the ground underneath, underneath his feet. In the end, the trip took a lot longer than it should. <laughs> Classic Tresca. 20 minutes. Okay. Oh. After reaching the store's doors, we were greeted by a sign. Yeah, they spoke in minutes 20 wrong. minutes. <laughs> what? <laughs> the bright idea to indicate their working hours in this way. They probably have, so have special staff for this. Somebody who runs to change the sign every five minutes. It's convenient. No, it's not. <laughs> Are you joking? Yeah! <laughs> You're so annoying. Yeah! <laughs> it's so much better than being boring. How old are you, by the way? I'm seven. <laughs> None of your business. Ah, ah, ah. And what's your name? None of your business. I was ready to slap the living hell out of the brat, but a scary Jesus. looking man suddenly appeared behind the glass. He's holding a cardboard sign that says we're closing in 15 minutes. <laughs> Holy shit, he does have a per they do have a guy to do that. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Huh? Oh, yeah. After another round of going across the long row of canned products, we realized that we're lost. You got lost? I can't believe I can't you don't believe. know where they s sell milk. All right, that's you. I... Um... Maybe we should ask somebody for directions. Sure. Hey, wait up. Tresca lets go of my hand and walks confidently toward one of the few store's customers. That person is standing with their back to us, studying something on the shelf. Hello? Can I...? I can't hear... Neither the second part of his question nor the reply he gets. But my good for nothing friends freezes in place, looking the customer straight in the eye. I hurry toward them. You 
it's yours. Customer talks to me. He speaks with disgust while wearing a scornful expression. Aw, oh, Tresca. Hey. Um. If he's yours, please get him away from me. Y yes, I'm sorry. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to make you feel this traumatic, Tresca. <laughs> Just let me picture. take a quick picture. <laughs> I grab Tresca's hand and lead him away. He's still looking at the customer, his mouth ajar and eyes popped. He's also shaking. Dude. Only when we turn down the corner, turn around the corner, Tresca calms down. What was that? I... I got so scared. He said... No! Not again! Suddenly, Tresca starts screaming like crazy. I cover his mouth with my hand. His face is burning. He's crying. Can you act normal? You, you don't understand. Of course I don't. I don't understand anything. I'm stupid. <laughs> Annoying other people is still wrong, though. This is something you don't understand, it seems. You're mean. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah, and you smell like milk. <laughs> Tresca pushes- You you smell like milk! <laughs> you Tresca, suck! Tresca pushes me away and runs off. Rat. At the edge of my vision, I see the store staff hang a new sign on the door. Closing in five minutes. There you are. I meet Tresca at the cash register. Before that, I managed to visit the milk department after finding out where it was. Hey, you. Where is your milk department? <laughs> <laughs> I hear an angry voice coming from the other side of a long queue that has formed after Tresca. I squeeze through toward him. What happened? The boy doesn't respond. He just looks at his feet and sniffs. The cashier towers over him. There's a bag of milk lying between them. Is he yours? Yes. Just leave him home next time. Damn. People in the queue nod in agreement. Jeez! Pay for Fresca. the goods, please. Yes, of course. And the waiting fee. What? W what? You heard me. I did, but that's unheard of. Tresca starts giggling all of a sudden. You little bastard! <laughs> Oh. Oh, I don't want to say that word. Yeah, your son's being dumb. But... <laughs> you heard me. You know what? In a fit of rage, I throw a banknote to the cashier of much higher value than needed, even counting in all the stupid fees, then grab a bag of milk and turn around on my heels. We're leaving, Tresca. We spend the whole trip back in silence. At some point, we end up turning right toward a gas station. There, Tresca finally breaks his silence. Do you like ice cream? No. Okay. I look at the boy's face. A light flickers in his eyes for a brief moment and then goes out. You do. Know. He turns away from the path and walks straight toward the highway with determination. Stare at his back, confused. Seems like you're not helping me at all. A new playful light flickers in Tresca's eyes. Oh, he's gonna get hit by a, a truck. You good? Okay. Me too. <laughs> Do you ever just... <laughs> Sometimes I look at the moon. Oh shit! That was the whole game! Yep. Well, damn. We made it through both games just in time. Fuck yeah. And that was only wow. one of the routes. Hmm. I think we got the good end. <laughs> I don't know if any of them are good for the character. <laughs> I 
I mean, what is good when your idea of good is psychosed so badly? Suvark says, if you imagine her as mom and Tresca as her, it will become less abstract. She's enclosed inside her world where she treats herself harshly and imagines everyone else mean to her to an absurd degree, living in constant shame. Yeah, yeah. I, that's kind of where she I thought get, they were she going did with it. She give mom vibes. Well, she gave mom vibes and also Tresca was literally tracing her steps from the first part of this game. Yeah. Um... And also, damn bitch, same. <laughs> right. We all have a Tresca inside ourselves. <laughs> yep. My Tresca has ADHD. My and Tresca like them, Sonic the Hedgehog. Fucking... <laughs> one of five endings. This is the default one. Damn! Hell yeah! I'm basic! <laughs> Hell yeah. You hear that, Beans? I'm basic. <laughs> Does he know what that means? I don't know if he knows what that means. He's a, he's a cat, after all. Aww. He's just a cat. He meowed at me! My mic what didn't did, pick it did up. What did he mean? I don't know. I said, he is just a cat after all, and he went, eh. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know if that was him agreeing, or... Was that you agreeing? Don't out me as a cat, mother. Do you agree that you're a cat? Do you agree? Okay. Well, stop <laughs> headbutting the desk. That's not a good idea. Seems your son is being <laughs> stupid. Oh, yeah. Is he yours? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. God damn, Beans. Stop it. You need to protect your skull. He keeps trying to jump into my lap, but I have a keyboard tray. So he just keeps fucking thumping into the keyboard tray with oh his God. whole head. <laughs> oh, my God. He's... He's not bright, but like he this? is mine. <laughs> he's he bonk he's head. He eat hair. <laughs> Everything a little boy loves. <laughs> he's living life to the fullest. What a strange boy. He's the best boy. He loves eat hair and hurt head. <laughs> yep. He loved meow, but only at weird time. <laughs> He, he loved to yell outside door. His favorite thing in the world is, like, chasing after, uh, the fishing pole toys. Yeah. So, like, the ones with the little thing on the end of a string. He goes fucking nuts the second I touch the stick. He's like, yeah! It's time to kill that weird thing! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Finally, a cat likes a thing meant for them. Yeah. But only that, because it involves me too. I try to oh, get him yeah. those, like, group normal... Yeah, that's the thing. I get him toys that are just for cats to play by themselves, you know? Like, the little mice you bat around, and, like, the little thing that you can bat, you know? But he doesn't do that. He only likes it when I'm the one expending effort. <laughs> Dang. Got me wrapped uh, around his little... Them. little pinky paw. <laughs> Well, it's just about well, thank 10. you guys for joining us. Yeah. Especially since Jamie couldn't be here to see it. Yeah. God rest her soul. Jamie can watch the pod if, <laughs> if she so pleases. Jamie's <laughs> like, quit telling people I'm dead! <laughs> yeah, she got banished to the seventh circle of hell because uh, she's sick and we didn't like that. So until she's better, she has to smell- uh, she has to smell like eggs with the rest of them. <laughs> she actually chose this for herself. Yeah. Unfortunate, but true. Alright. Well, we did make her go down to the seventh circle of hell. Yeah. She sniffled a little bit, and I went, uh-uh, not in here. Shoo-shoo-shoo. <laughs> and I got the broom out. 
course. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It was a yeah. weird one, but it was fun. The next two yeah. weeks are not gonna be at all. Yeah. It is about time for the holidays, so we will be busy with our various activities. We will be back January 7th, I believe, if I am not forgetting anything else. But we yeah. usually we, we stream usually on Sundays at 8 p.m. Just not for not next week and not the th week after that. Um. Have have some good holidays. Get some, whatever you celebrate, uh, yeah. do it responsibly. Yeah, be responsible. Enjoy any days off that you get. Um. And we'll see y'all in a few weeks. Bye. Good night.